I just found an uncensored, totally free AI image generator that's got zero restrictions, no hidden fees, no limits, just full creative freedom. You can generate unlimited images every single day, and I mean unlimited. You see, other platforms like Leonardo or Ideogram, Midjourney, have hidden paywalls, but this one lets you go wild with no strings attached. And as a bonus, stick around until the end, and I'll show you how to use Kling AI for free too. Now, here's the deal, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Once my AI detects that you've done it, I'll send you a link to my free AI mentorship, yes, completely free. Plus, by subscribing, you're in for some awesome free AI tools videos this week. Once you click the link in the description, it'll bring you to this interface. This is the tool I mentioned earlier, and yes it gives you full flexibility, no restrictions, so you're able to create exactly what you want without being boxed in. Now the very first thing you want to do before anything else is connect it to your GPU. You'll see a button that says connect right at the top. Go ahead and click that. It might take a few seconds depending on your internet speed. But once it connects, you're ready for the next step. After it's connected, you'll see an option labeled setup environment. Click on that, and you'll be presented with three setup options, fast, dev, and full. If you're just testing things out or you want quicker results, I recommend going with fast. It gets things running quickly without using too many resources. So I'll click on fast, then hit the play button, and approve the pop-up that comes up. Now give it a moment to finish loading everything in the background. Once the environment setup is done, you'll notice it gives you three different generation modes for creating your images. These are different versions of the image generator, and they each offer a slightly different output style and speed. For this walkthrough, I'm sticking with the first version because it's optimized for speed and still gives really good quality. Now that everything's ready, I'll start by entering a simple test prompt. Let's go with something like, a young woman looking at the viewer. That's all you need to start with. Then for the negative prompts, which help guide the model away from poor results, I'll add a few things like ugly, bad quality, or low resolution. These help the AI stay focused on producing sharp, polished images. Once that's done, I'll scroll down to check the width and height settings, make sure they're set the way I want. If everything looks good, I'll go ahead and click the play button to start the generation. Alright, it's finished and take a look at that. It did a clean, realistic job. The face is smooth, the proportions are solid, and there's no weird morphing or distortions. This already looks pretty impressive, but let's try something more stylistic next. This time, I'll keep the same prompt but add anime style to it. Quick tip here, if you're adding a multi-word style like that, always wrap it in quotation marks to help the AI interpret it better. Once that's added, I'll hit the play button again and let it run. And now, take a look there it is, completely transformed into an anime styled version. If you're working on anime style content or planning to create stylized video characters, this type of result could be a perfect fit. It's clean, it's expressive, and the quality is solid. Now, just to show a little more of what's possible here, I'll test a different prompt. A young woman holding a sign that says subscribe. I'll type that in, and click play. And there we go. Look at that it really looks like a photo you might have taken with a real camera, but this is 100% generated by AI. The lighting, the hands, the signets all impressively done. And honestly, this tool gives way more realism than some of the more common models like Flux. Once you try this, it's hard to go back. Plushers the kickrits free and you can generate as much as you want. Now, if you want to push the realism even further, here's a little known trick I've shown before. Try adding selfie.jpg to your prompt. That simple keyword, which mimics an image file name, can boost the output quality and make it look like it came straight off a smartphone. Let's give that a shot. I'll run it again with selfie.jpg in the prompt. Okay, take a look at this. You'd almost think this was taken with an iPhone. No glitches, no warped faces, just clean, natural looking output. It nails skin texture, lighting, even facial symmetry. Now, if you want more control, just add an underscore after selfie.jpg, then continue your prompt like, young woman smiling, or whatever scenario you're going for. This way, you can generate consistent, 
stunning visuals with just a few tweaks and you're only scratching the surface of what this tool can do. Now let's try another clever trick with the prompts. I'll type in something like, family selfie, just that simple phrase and hit run again. And just take a look at this result. It's honestly incredible. The lighting, the composition, the way the faces are aligned it actually looks like a real family photo someone snapped on vacation. The realism is on another level. I mean at this point, I should be getting a medal for showing you this tool it's that good. With just a few words, you can generate dozens of stunning images for any kind of creative project. Let's go a bit further. Maybe you want to create something completely different like an image with an animal in it. There's another style format you can use for that. I'll type in something like IMG 23 dog in a park. This mimics a typical camera file name, and it helps trigger more realistic outputs. Once that's in, I'll click the play button. And wow look at this result. It gave us a high quality image of a dog in a park, and it looks like it came straight out of a DSLR camera. No weird artifacts, no AI glitches. Just clean, photo quality generation. This really is next level output. If you're watching this and you're not already thinking about the potential, you're missing out. You could use this for content creation, storytelling, or just building your own visual world. Now, at some point, you're going to want to bring these images to life by turning them into short videos. So for that, we'll open up a new tab and head over to another powerful tool this one specializes in video generation. Search for something like Kling AI, which is one of the best tools for turning static images into smooth, animated clips. And the great thing is, it gives you free credits every day. But here's the thing, there's a simple workaround that lets you generate videos with even more flexibility. What you can do is open up another tab and search for temporary email, or just go directly to a site that gives you throwaway emails. Once you're there, generate an email address it, doesn't need to be real or connected to anything, and then use it to create a new account on the video site. Just repeat this process when needed, and you'll keep getting new daily credits without hitting limits. If you want this to run smoothly and avoid any session bugs or caching issues, I highly recommend using incognito mode on your browser. That way, you get a clean environment every time, and everything loads faster and more reliably. This little method gives you a ton of freedom to experiment without worrying about limits and the best part, it's free. And if this video was helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more AI free tools this like this.